So today I want to try and run through this video quite quickly because I filmed it once before but it was super long and I couldn't really edit it so I want to try and get through it quickly. So today it's going to be like a winter favourites, as in instead of doing one for every month because I've missed a few months, I just wanted to kind of share with you the products that I love in winter and why. So um, I'm going to start with nails because I only have one nail product to show you but I'm, you'll get the gist of what I mean. This time of the year I love berry colours and whether it's for lips, eyes or nails um, but you can live like dark colours so I love sort of deep reds and deep um, greens and things like that sort of more uh, sultry colours. One of my favourites is um, this is Raspberry by Barry M. Now a lot of people on YouTube talk about this shade and I only bought this recently and I can understand why it is just incredible. This is it on my nails here. It's just so lovely. It's just for me, it's sort of fall, autumn, winter in a bottle, so I love that. And I love red nails this time of the year as well. So moving on to lips, one of the things I can't live without this time of the year is lip balm. I get incredibly dry lips and chap lips. Um, so this is one of my favourite lip balms. This is the Body Shop lip balm and this is their um, Nutmeg and Vanilla lip balm. Now this is from either last year or the year before. But I just love the Christmas lip balms that they do. They're really nourishing. They smell so nice, and you know they make leave your skin and sorry your lips feeling really um, conditioned afterwards. Um, so yeah, but I think the Paper Chase lip balms deserve an honourable mention. I used to work for Paper Chase, and every year they bring out a selection of like a pack with different lip balms in it, like sort of candy cane, um, Christmas cookie, and things like that. They just oh, they're so amazing. They not necessarily the best for conditioning your lips, they do do the job, um, but there are, other, there are better lip balms for that, but if you really love quirky, nice smelling li um, lip balms, you'll love the Paper Chase ones. Um, so one of the other things I can't live without this time of the year is um, sort of cream and, cream blushes and um, cheek tints. Now I can't wear powder blush, well I can, but I try not to this time of the year unless I really have to because it because I get such dry skin and eczema sort of dry patches on my face it kind of emphasises that whereas cream blushes and such tend to disguise it a little better. So this is one of my favourites, I've mentioned this so many times, this is Lady Blush by MAC. Um, I think they've just continued this but they've got a similar shade I think in the new formula. This is another one that I love, this is Max Factors Miracle Touch Creamy Blush and this is in Soft Candy. It looks quite bright in there, but it's not at all scary when it's on the skin. I think Benetint deserves an honourable mention as well. This isn't the best lip stain I've ever used, but it's, it is really quite good. Um, and I just love the healthy flush that it gives my cheeks this time of the year. So keeping within that theme of healthy skin, I adore highlighter this time of the year. So High Beam by Benefit is one of my ultimate favourite highlighters. I just love this. Um, if whenever I wear it I get, well most of the time when I wear it I get sort of compliments about how amazing my skin looks so that's why I love this, it just, you know, other people really notice it. And another one which I love for when like really festive sort of events or if I really want to have a real shimmer, you know, noticeable on my cheeks that is obviously fake. <laughs> um, I like this highlighter, this is the number 7 opulence highlighter. The um, This part uh, of the tray did look like this, it had sort of the red and everything in it but that's worn off. Now this is a limited edition uh, product, I think it was um, a couple of years ago or last year maybe but this, I just love this, it gives like a really gold um, highlight, it's not really picking up on the camera but um, so anyway, just any, uh, you could even use gold eyeshadow, I just like it if I really want to sort of really out there highlight. Um, so um, I want to just say that lipstick wise I'm wearing this lipstick at the moment and I love this, this is Bourjois um, Sweet Kiss and that is swatched on my hand there. I love this, I love the formula and everything. Um, I love ELF's um, ooh, Mineral Lipstick in Very Cherry, it looks like that, 
and that's it swatched there. So just sort of red, sparry colours. I love um, Rimmel's, Rimmel as a brand, their reds are incredible, I love them as well. Uh, this is Violetta by MAC, and that's it swatched there, that purple one. And then another one which I feel deserves an honourable mention, because I this barely comes off my lips this time of year. This is Cunning by MAC, and that's it there. It's like a brown plum colour. I love that. Okay, so lastly is eyes. So I love glittery products this time of the year. This is Illamasqua's Liquid Metal, and this is the silver one. This is a cream product, so obviously it does crease quite a bit. Um, so I like to put it on the inner corners of my eyes, or I will put it underneath the silver eyeshadow to kind of intensify the silver. Um, so if I want like a glittery, pretty party eye, then I just love this product. It's so great, especially at the inner corners. It really highlights so lovely. Um, but I do tend to set it with the silver on top. It just kind of gives it a bit more pop. Um, another shadow that I love this time of year, this is Beauty Marked by MAC. It's like a um, like a maroony black. It's really hard to describe. It's not quite black. It does have like sort of maroon undertones, like burgundy undertones, and I love it. Um, especially for a smoky eye, if I just want a really quick smoky eye. Another product I love this time of the year is um, Macroviolet Fluid Line by MAC. It's like a purple, um, well it's fluid line but purple essentially, um, but it comes out quite black but I find that it works really well if you want to do a purple, a, like a deep purple look, you can put this underneath or just sort of put it on the lash line, I really like that. Lastly, this was another sort of limited edition number seven thing. I'm sorry that there's limited edition products here. Um, so this is the Define and Shimmer Eye Palette by number seven. Now they gave this away, I think it was last, yeah, it was last Christmas, um, this time last year in other words. They did an offer where if you bought a specific mascara, you got a, um, like this palette free essentially. And I just love the colours in it. I use this palette all at the time. And I know it's limited edition, but you can get comparable shades that the shades aren't 100% unique. Um, but these are the sort of colours that I love to wear this time of the year. This uh, the gold colour, that's what it looks like. Then they've got this green colour here. That's that. It's like an olive green. A chocolate brown. And then a maroon burgundy there. So that's what they look like. So it's sort of a lot of shimmer, a lot of golds, a lot of products that help my skin look much healthier than it is in reality. And that's essentially what I love in winter, you know, glowy skin, healthy skin. I don't like products that um, over, you know, emphasise the fact that I don't have great skin this time of the year. It's a fact, I can't get away from it no matter how much I moisturise or what products I use. My skin is rubbish this time of the year. Um, Sorry, I keep saying um, I'm really out of the swing of <laughs> making videos. I really apologise. I nearly did it again. So, <laughs> woo! Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm really annoying myself. I will see you in my next video, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas as to you know the products that I like to wear. And that might help you this time of the year, give you some ideas of you know things that are out there. So if you have got a video like this or you, you do one, please do let me know, put a link below or video response or anything like that. And just let me know the products that you love this time of the year because it'd be really interesting to find out if anybody else sort of has a seasonal makeup bag like I do. So yeah, uh, I'll see you in my next video and I'll try not to say um so much next time. <laughs> And I hope you're all well and see you again. Bye.